Hello, my name is Raymond Hitchcock. I'm the photographer of the month and I'm a local resident here, live in Ocean Beach. All of these photographs are done since I retired, and so they've all been done in the last eight years. I studied photography at Southwestern College for a couple years, a mere 50 years ago. And after that, I took a different path uh, into construction. I joined a commune, and I really didn't do any photography. I did some artistic things, but not no photography. Uh, I was a general contractor, and I had a kitchen and bath renovation business. So I would take pictures of projects, you know, before and after pictures, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I was doing some sculpture, but no photography. I just think it was ac accidental. Uh, I joined the Ocean Beach Historical Society and every year they have a photo contest, OB Exposed. So eight years ago when the contest was uh, coming up, I had a photograph and I thought to myself, well, I'll enter this photograph. And so that was just, just really kind of accidentally sparked my interest. Uh, and I took this image to Nelson Photo. So this is the first time I came to Nelson Photo in 2011 to have this 8 by 10 print made. And I thought that was like a really big deal, you know, an 8 by 10 print. And uh, I walked across the street to Blick and bought some mat board and uh, spray mount. And I entered this in the contest and it won the People's Choice Award. And that was, uh, that sparked my interest. And so what did you shoot that on? Uh, okay, so I had a Nikon point and shoot, okay. which my construction company owned, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I used my, that Nikon point and shoot for a couple years until, uh, me and the camera fell in the river at uh, the Sundial Bridge in, in Reading. And uh, so then that's when I went out and bought, uh, this is a Sony RX100, uh, which I describe as a professional compact camera. Yeah, and so you've been shooting with that ever since? And this is, I use this exclusively. Wow, I was not, I did not know that from some of your photographs. I thought for sure you had some DSLR or something, especially the one of, you said your friend Jerome? Uh, Taurus. Taurus, I'm sorry. Taurus and then the one of the um, wine glass. I, yes, I'm stretching, stretching the limits of, the, of this camera. Well, I live in Ocean Beach and I've learned yeah. to uh, look for the sunset symptoms. So and I know there's a whole bunch of photographers that about four in the afternoon are looking west, looking at the clouds uh, and, uh, you know, is it going to be a sunset, you know, and uh, so I did do and I'm still interested in sunsets, but I don't have I think I'm pretty curious so sometimes I'll just go out and uh, one of the things I do pet photography because I house it and so all of the three pet photographs that I have are my clients from house sitting so sometimes I'll just you know if I have an interesting pet I'll, I'll take a picture of it I th the camera that I would like to get is the next level up of the RX100. Just, uh, it's got a flip, flip screen. I'm not a very technical photographer and I don't like to carry photo equipment. So, so my style 
uh, when I travel and when I go out is to be able to put my camera in my pocket and, and kind of blend in. Uh, though, you know, I do have a car and it's got a trunk and I could have a, you know, carry a camera around, but I, it's just not my style and I don't think I can afford it. So. I don't have any recommendations <laughs> for anybody. Uh, maybe you can lend me your gear for there's a couple of photos I have that uh, I'd really like to have some fancy gear and uh, but, uh, w one of the pictures the most technical picture I took that's up there is the it, the cat sipping photograph and that is in a kitchen that's one of my client house set clients and that's in my client's kitchen sink and I put a towel a black towel that they had in their guest bathroom up for a, a backdrop. And I took that photograph th over three sessions. I just kept trying it over and over, you know, in the light. And uh, it's my camera is, it just is, it, it, I was pushing the limits of my camera. And so that was one of those times, kind of, I just had, you know, good flow flashes and lights and the right camera you know it would be a uh, different easier photograph but yeah you do what you can do okay well thank you so much Ray. thanks for coming in early we really appreciate you and obviously you've been printing with us for so long so we appreciate that too <laughs> well thank you i appreciate that and i i appreciate your taking the time and... of course of course we'll we'll stitch together this video and yeah. it will go